Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Jade, and this is How to Wrap an iOS. And today we're going to be taking a look at Geo Shred and the NADA. NADA, NADA, NADA Instrument Collection Packs, yeah. So buckle yourselves in for the next hour. We're going to talk music as usual. Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Jade. This is How to App on iOS, where every day we talk about music, apps, creativity. We focus on amazing artists. We be as positive as we possibly can because we want you to be creative and be your best. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what this show is all about. And a bit of frivolity along the way. I hope you're all doing good. It's been a morning, but you know, we're going to go through and Show you something really cool today. I'd like to welcome our Wart Warriors. For a dollar a month, you can join below and do all the, that stuff, you know. Hey, um, we're also on the way to 3,000 subscribers. So if you're watching on the replay, you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It does help. And all the likey stuff and all that, because we're getting closer to 3,000 subscribers. And that is really humbling, Yeah. All right, let's say hello to folks in the chat. We'll talk a little bit of news quickly and then we'll jump in and look at these amazing sounds that are on offer from GeoShred and their Nada collection. Hello, Joe Glenn. Hello, Thomas Christ. It's Russ Mamaka. Uh, Thomas has put a nice link there, as he always does. There is Brad with a, a whole bunch of emojis. Uh, there's the rise of my from lovely dark Leela. Audible video. Hello to you. I, can't, I, I agree so much more. Welcome to the channel that promotes acceptance, love, creativity, and a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. Hi, Heather Feisty Feather. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Good stuff. And if you're lurking as well, feel free to lurk away and do your thing. You know, that's Barry's in the sheep dip. I hope to see Barry soon. Remember, after this show, we've got Thomas Christ coming up. And he's going to be playing your rocket music. I can't do it, Thomas. I'm not as I'm not as cool as you. Hey, Blue Unicorn, what's happening? All right, shall we cover some? Uh, uh, we got a featured artist today as well, as we always do, and we play them at the end of the show. And today's featured artist, of course, is Vero. So we're going to play that track. Remind me, guys, if I forget, because my mind's not what it used to be. We got I got to do it four minutes before the end of the show. <laughs> I'm going to play this track. So somebody remind me, when we hit the five minute mark towards the end, somebody ring the bell for me. Damn, I'm terrible at remembering this stuff. What's going on, Gary Hubs? Good to see you. I hope everybody's doing well, even those of you who aren't uh, doing so well. Yeah. Hope you get, hope you feel better. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, jump over here. Hi, Jenny. There's Jenny Jolive. Hello, Jenny. Hope you're well also. We're going to do this jumpy thing over here and go over to, boom, we're over at thebeatcommunity.com where they will give you updates for <clears throat> apps, iOS, desktop software, samples and expansions. I do recommend you go over and, uh, you know, at least add this to your favorites because even if you're not an iOS user, you've got desktop software up here, samples and expansion packs, you'll know when everything's on sale and you'll get a bargain. And that's... You know, we want to help you get a bargain to be able to make your best music or whatever it is you need to make, even if it's not music. You just want to make talking stuff. I don't care. Man, there's a whole lot of new releases that are, have just come out. And trust me, next week is going to be chock full of new apps. Uh, we've got, what's this called? Skip a disc. I got this last night. This thing is wicked. It turns your music into the sound a CD player would make when your disc was broken. Amazing, the technology we have, yeah? 2023 and people are making apps that make your audio sound like a broken CD. I love this world. It's amazing. Audio thing just dropped Crusher. Um, there's, uh, we got uh, Tatat, which is coming out as well. Well, I've already got that. We got Clevgrands, Richter, which we're looking at next week. There's some really cool apps. Uh, price drops. Let's have a look what is uh, available once my page loads. Am I connected to the internet? What's happening? Yep, I'm connected to the internet. Something's not working. There we go. 
Drone Lab is on sale for $1.99. AUBE has about a buck off and it had a huge update. Uh, acoustic voice preamp. Uh, so Nembrini has a bunch of apps. MIDI layers from Nembrini's on, uh, from Four Pockets is on sale. Man. Um, 909, Korg module. Even Tide's got a sale on. There's a bunch of really cool stuff. Anyway, we are looking at GeoShred today. If you don't know what GeoShred up, Shred is, yeah. So it's a, a musical instrument that was made by Jordan Rudess, yeah, from Dream Theater. We had him on the show. What was it, a year and a half ago, maybe? Jordan Rudess came on the show and he actually played his iPad on the show with his app, GeoShred, which we're looking at today. Again, I've done numerous shows on GeoShred, the original show I did on how to use it. There's another, uh, other shows I've done with uh, their Swarm Instrument packs. And today we're looking at the Nada collection of instruments, which they've added to the list. Now, there's a few ways you can buy GeoShred. You can buy the GeoShred Pro for $24.99, or you can buy the GeoShred Play, which is like a watered down version. And then you can pay the added subscription to uh, unlock the full Pro version. That's all covered in one of my other shows that I looked at GeoShred. So we're not doing a deep dive into that app today, but if you haven't seen it, trust me, it is just a joy to play. Let's talk about the pricing of this app, yeah, because it's gonna be a sore point for people and, and you know, that's, that's absolutely cool because these instruments, have, they're a little bit expensive. So if we scroll down over here, so the Nada collection here is uh, for both of them. One and two is $119. Uh, for NADA 1 collection, 79 and I think it's the same for NADA 2. But individual instruments from the pack are about 14 15 bucks each. So you don't have to buy the pack. You can, if there's only a couple of instruments you like, you can buy those as well. But these things are mint. They're, they're beautiful. And the way you implement them with GeoShred is beautiful. So let's dive in, shall we? You know the prices. This is the way GeoShred... Oh, yeah. Let me turn off my mic and give you a demo. Wicked. So what we got going here, let's uh, stop this. So we had uh, Indian Drummer playing as our drum app here. Uh, uh, and we had a GeoShred Play. So the version I have is actually GeoShred Play. I bought the cheaper one and then I updated it. So it actually is GeoShred Pro 
but it's it's uh, the updated version. So as you can see, this runs as an AUV3, so you can run this in GarageBand, you can run it here on AUM, you can run it in Logic, you can run it every door that accepts AUV3s, or you can run it as a standalone. And as you can see, it is an incredibly powerful touch instrument. So it was built to be a, a, an instrument on your iPad. Yeah, it does. Uh, you can use it as a controller also to send messages to other apps. So you can uh, control like a, another swarm trumpet. You can open up another instrument and use that to control that. There's so many different things you can do with this app. And the customization is just nuts. It really is nuts. There's so many ways you can use it. So we'll jump out of a AUM and we'll just use it as a standalone for a while. And then we'll wrap up by uh, using it in um, <clears throat> in Logic. So as you can see, as it's loading here, it says down the bottom, it was the upgrade. And here's where it tells us the prices. I love this. I already own it and it's telling me the prices, but it's good. So um, previously we've looked at the Geo Swarm collection. Yeah. So they are the Swarm instruments like trumpets, cellos, all that kind of stuff. Very orchestral stuff. Where this Nada pack here is it's got a few uh, symphonic instruments, but it's more world instruments kind of thing. So it tells you here what's in. So the Nada uh, Collection 1 and 2 has a Nada Bansuri, a sh uh, <laughs> Shinai, a the Duduk. I don't, I'm, I'm butchering all of these. I don't know what what these are. A Carnatic Violin, a Sarangi, an Urhu. I know what that is. A Saraswati, Veena. A pan flute, bass clarinet, a nada swarm, a rudra vena, vena, viola, cello, and a bass. Uh, so there you go. Um, hello to Ed B. Metal. What's happened, man? I got your uh, message too. Uh, what tabla program called? The drums that I was using? It's called Indian Drummer. Indian Drummer. Here you go if you want to see. If we uh, go to a search... It, it's not an AUV3. Indian drummer. There it is. Uh, Indian drummer. It's this one here. It is only interapp audio, so it is unable to be used in Logic Pro. But everything else you can use in because it is only interapp audio. Um, so let's go back here to GeoShred. So uh, you can see the prices here. As I said, individually, they're $14.99. Or you can buy both packs for 119 or get them split, I think, for, what was it, 70? Was it uh, 74, I think? So we can close this because I have all of the sounds in here. And the unique thing about this amazing app is the fact that it is built for touchscreen. And uh, you'll notice there's a lot of blacked out notes on this. So these are the notes that aren't in the current scale, yeah? So you know where to play. That's what's really cool about this. You can, you can follow the scale really easily and not muck up. So Jordan Rudess has just done a magic job with this. And not only does it have these kind of instruments, there's electric guitars in here, there's everything. I've covered all this in the original shows. So you've got uh, favorites, lead voices, acoustic guitars even. I'm pretty sure there's like... And there's so many different... So we've got a oops, steel Dobro there. you got... You've even got crazy stuff like guitar pedals. <laughs> I mean, you've got guitar pedals, distortions, octaves, echoes. You've got all these pedals you can add, amp simulators. I mean, this amp, this app is deep as they come. It is an amazing, amazing, amazing app. So go back and watch my premier, previous tutorial on it. But let's have a look at these instruments that are in this pack. So once you've so you've got Asian instruments. Here's all, all my Geo violins. These are the Geo Swarm instruments, which I've done shows on as well. And here are all the new instruments, the Nada instruments here. So there's quite a few. Let's click through them 
and see what they sound like. And you'll notice, that, I mean, this is super expressive, this uh, app. So just by wobbling your finger, and you can use pressure buttons, MPE for vibrato. Not only that, uh, when you choose your instrument, once you've chosen it up here, you get a whole bunch of presets for all of these as well. So you've got like an ensemble here. You can do things like I start off with by choosing the meditation and it gives you a resonator underneath. We've got like a swell. And you've got like this expression up here as well. I mean, the amount of uh, stuff for each instrument is amazing. This app is just, you know, it's, it's one of the best out there. Let's try a, a diatonic. So now we've got like all the. <laughs> we can see you later, Gary. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. Okay, let's check out the next one. This is the Nada Shinais. Is that how you say it? So again, what I was saying before, how you can use this as an expression pedal. So you can use this as a as a uh, just a playing surface, and then send this to other instruments. I've done shows on that too, if you want to look them up, where I've used this to control like a swarm instrument by itself. Super easy to set up. So it, uh, yeah, I just can't tell you how how wicked this app is. This is the the Dukes. Is that how you say? It? So you see then when I turned on the finger MPE expression, as I now drag my finger up, it's getting louder. So you've got complete control over the expression. I think that's the case too, Thomas. I think a lot of people uh, who've owned this, like I'm guilty of it myself. You forget about it because, I mean, just how amazing it really is that it's just sitting on your iPad and, and you can create such a beautiful stuff with it. And again, all of these have their own uh, little uh, presets in them as well. So we've got like a scale here. What else do we have? We've got this. Um, let's do a, uh, there's a diatonic. And I mean, you can even go in and customize this so much so. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. No shit, Ed. It's a bit like that, isn't it? But uh, even with the, the settings in here, you can go in and fully change the control surface. You can change all the stuff up here. You can remove these things. You can add things in. 
It's so customizable, it is just utterly ridiculous. If we go into uh, performance and settings, so here you can go in and change the play mode to poly, string mode, guitar mode, slide, you've got piano mode, uh, you've got arpeggiators in here, uh, you can set your MIDI clocks, you can change the scales of your, of your actual keys that are on here. The depth of this is just, just ridiculous. There is so much. Um, you know, you can go absolutely mad with it and you, you'll lose your mind. You will utterly lose your mind. It's that, that much fun. And you'll end up in an institution with a straitjacket on going, Geo Shred sent me mad. So these are the Khan violins. So even up here, you've got this bow direct, uh, direction. So by tapping that back and forward, you, it's simulating the bow uh, moving. Uh, it's really, really intense. Gregory says, it's an amazing app, unfortunately. I'm too musically challenged to make full use of it. Aren't we all? <laughs> Aren't we all? So you've just got dry sound. I mean, these are some of the best violin sounds you'll get. I mean, listen to that. You can go down an octave. So they are the Nada Khan violins. Then we've got this one, the Sarangis. jump in here and add a little bit of meditation to it. Beautiful stuff. Hey, Pete, what's going on? You get confused by night and more day. That's not good. Maybe you should see a doctor. <clears throat> uh, for those of you who missed out, I did another um, late night here in Australia stream on Logic last night, and we did some crazy stuff last night. We took a project from Aurea Pro sent it over to my Mac, converted it to a logic file on the Mac, and then brought that file, that whole project over back to the iPad in logic. Sick stuff. We even opened up logic uh, uh, programs. We started a new logic project using an SSD, and it worked. It worked. A, a gigabyte SSD. And we did it on two SSDs, even a memory stick and an SD card. And it worked. Even though Apple say it doesn't work, it worked. Um, also, we looked at splitting the keyboard, your keyboard up in, in uh, Logic, how to split your keyboard across many different sounds. So it was really cool. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch uh, the Late Night Logic Lessons, Episode 3. We'll be doing a few more of those, like every couple of days. So it's early in the morning for the US, I know that. But um, So here we got an Erhu. <laughs> I 
<laughs> then that gets high. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. I love these instruments. They're, you know, they're, they're a little bit expensive, like we said, but... This is a bass clarinet. Exactly. Well, that's that's the thing. Uh, audible. Jordan when he, Jordan Rudess came on my show. That's what he said. He made this, so you can't, you know, you can't really f it up. That's the point. Uh, he wants to make music accessible to people who may not, you know, be able to have the skills to to play something like this. And here it is. And this is not only available on your iPad, it's available on your iPhone as well, unbelievably enough. But listen to those. I mean, you're, they've even captured the breath in there. So this is modelled stuff, you know, it's, it's really nice, nicely modelled. We've got some basses in here. Ooh. So you can see just barely tapping it, you get that stroke. These things sound good in a mix. So we've got these Nada cellos as well. Can we go lower? Ivan, hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, what else is in here? So we've got Nada Violas. So you can see there I added the trem enabled and it's added like a tremolo effect. What else do we have? Nada swarms. Ooh. <laughs> so what is this? A sax? Sounds like a sax to me. Wow. 
what else do we have in here? We've got a few more to go, so we've got some pan flutes. Oh, wow. these ones again we could get kind of nuts with this and go to our effects here so, so there's the instrument it's a Radra Vena nice huh Let's edit this. Can we put in a let's let's put in a uh, distortion pedal? <laughs> why not? Why why the hell not? Let's turn that on. Give it some gain. There we go. And you can even, like, you've got full cabinets here as well too, which is sick stuff. So you've got a flat response. You can go in here and change your, you've got a German special. Look at this, you can actually even go in here and change all of the your, your middle gain, all that stuff. As I said, it is very, 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 very deep. And our last instrument on here is, was, where was it? Somewhere. It was this one here. These always sound, these... Uh, Instruments always sound nice with the meditation thing happening. Maybe. So you can hear what I did there. You've got, with some of them, you've got the option to use more of a piano style. So when I drag my finger. Same with the guitar one. Like we're moving along the, the neck. Or you've got the slide. Okay, let's kill our meditation. So, uh, does this work as an AV3 in something like Logic? Well, I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Uh, so, as I said in previous shows too, I've gone through like the other swarm instruments. Let's just uh, kill that. And some of those, you, you can see those here. I'll double tap again. Uh, one of the uh, 
It makes me crave Indian food. <laughs> it's head B metal. Uh, so you got. I mean, the swam instruments are beautiful as well. The saxes and everything, they're just. Trumpets are really nice. And as I said, you've got electric guitars in here, acoustic guitars, you've got a whole bunch of Asian instruments as well. It's a, it's a pretty amazing app. And again, every time I open it up, I'm reminded at how beautiful this app is. It <laughs> really is just basses down here as well. Go down. Funky. Hey, Heather, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. All right, let's uh, see. You know, the, <laughs> let's close that. Does it work in logic? That's all that people want to know. Does it? Well, I want to know. Does it work in logic? Shall we find out? Let's close a few things here. And open up our wonderful new Logic Pro. And we'll create a new project. Boom. So we're going to have to open this up as a MIDI instrument. So we we'll choose our MIDI track. Let's go down here and see what happens. We'll look for Geo Shred. Hope it works. <laughs> Has it loaded? It loaded. It loaded. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and the interface moves really well. That's nice. Oh, yes. And it even remembered the last instrument I had open from the uh, standalone version. Does it record? Let's arm the track. Hit record. Does it record? Does it record the uh, expression? Interesting, because GarageBand always struggled with the, some of the expression of this. Very fascinating to hear how this did. Let's play it back. We've got everything. I'm really interested to see what it what it's captured. Can we look at? Has it actually? Um, can we see the automation in it? That's something I'm curious about. So we're in our automation now. Uh, we're in the volume of the automation. So we've got um, instrument panning. So. No. Uh, I don't know where we see it. Do we see it in here? No. I don't know where we would see that preset. No. So there's a volume. I don't know. Looks like it doesn't show it. So maybe it's just built into the notes. Let's uh, try and look at the edit screen. So the velocities are all here, it looks like. So then, yeah, you can see here with the velocities going up and down. Interesting. But the beautiful thing is it uh, pulls all of this information in and that's what we want. Oh, wow, look at that. Now we're seeing some business here. Now we can see the automation. Look at all of that. Let's make this full screen. <laughs> Look at all this automation. 
So we've got, oh, wow. So what's used here is modulation, breath, control thir 113, control 119, pitch bend. Oh, dear. And, oh, look at that. Oh. Can I just say again how much I love Logic? <laughs> look at this. Look at it. And you can jump here. So you can jump between all of the automations in here, the pitch bends. See if there's any pitch bends in here. We can uh, check out what have we got. So any, look at the breath. That's really nice. Fascinating stuff. We are in a different world at the moment. And I love when you play this, when you play it back and uh, you go over to automation, it will only play the thing that you've got selected like this. Um, see that? And we've got some modulation in here. We've got some pitch bend stuff. Control 19, whatever that is. It, it sounds like one of those ingredients in food that you don't want to know what it is. Hey, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, good to see you. Oh, look, I was asleep. I missed all the drama, whatever the drama is. <laughs> I've got no time for it. <laughs> it's nonsense. Um, so if we go back to volume here, now we can get out of that and we should be able to play back everything. Wicked. So at least we know this works. At least we know we're, we're all good with, uh, with uh, Geo Shred. We can play whatever we want. Shall we make something quickly in here? Let's uh, add some drums, shall we? Let's do that. Let's build something nice and quick and, um, I know, we'll, we'll uh, do some music. What do we got? Uh, let's add a channel, add a MIDI track. Yeah, let's do it. Um, we'll go over to our browser. I wonder if we can find something Indian. Yeah? Is there an Indian? No? Nothing? I thought there would be. Let's try uh, going over here. What do we got? Um, do, 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 looks for some percussion. So we can find percussion wise. R&B, experimental. What else have we got in here? I'm probably overthinking it. Maybe some something cinematic. What's this? Doesn't sound very... Uh, that's not a not some good choices there. All right, let's uh, search for some, maybe some drums. Drums. Uh, what do we got down here? House, techno, pop, regional. Hey. All right, that'll do. Let's bring that in here. Maybe we just, what am I, why am I looking for instrument patches? I just should be looking for loops, shouldn't I? <laughs> Drums. Is there a regional here? Yes, regional, regional loops. Here we go. Um, Persian market. This is what we want. A bit of Persian market. All right, we'll delete this one. Delete. And let's loop this sucker. Let's give it some loopage. I don't know. We'll go out here. That's fine. We'll add our little uh, loop thingy. Okay, <clears throat> now we need to go back over to GeoShred and uh, bring this up here. 
I wonder if it will record the uh, the the uh, this thing, the uh, meditation, the resonance. Okay, let's hit record and see how we go. So it looks like it doesn't record the meditation thing. I'm guessing that goes out to a separate track. So that's interesting. I, I'm, I'm, I wonder how we can do that to get that. Uh, I guess that's going to be involved in multi-outs. Let's uh, turn that off. So if we duplicate this now and then head over to GeoShred and change instruments, what have we got? Remind me, we've got five minutes, guys, and then I have to play this song. Let's uh, grab something else. What do we have in here? So there's like a sax, there's violins. Going to grab one of those. And we've lost sound for this. That's it. I have to hit record, I think. You get the idea. It's in a different key. That's why I'm making mistakes there. Well, well. What I am interested about now is uh, let's create a new channel, new track. Let's we'll close this project. And lastly, if I've got time to do it, let's try and open up a MIDI track and open GeoShred as a controller. 
and see if we can send GeoShred over to another instrument. So let's open like a Swarm uh, a sax, baritone sax. Now we hold down GeoShred and record to MIDI. So now if I open up GeoShred, look at that. It's playing the sax. So it says up here violin, but it's clearly not playing a violin because we've opened it as a controller. How easy was that to set it up? You used to have to like do a whole bunch of things to get that to work. So if we hit record. Wow. So that works. We're finding out more and more about Logic Pro and how easy it is to add things like that. So now that that's been recorded, we would be able to go in here and uh, remove GeoShred once you've finished recording and you just keep the instrument. So now that you've recorded this part with all the, remember it's got all of the, uh, all of the shenanigans going on here with the automation that you've put in. So you could essentially change this to any instrument you want. Really, if you went in here and replaced this, you could pretty much put anything you want. Audio modeling, what do we got? Uh, something off the top of my head. Maybe, what if we put in uh, King of C FM? Would that work? I don't know. <laughs> Should do. So yeah, you could control pretty much anything with GeoShred as well. So not only does it is it packed full of wonderful instruments, uh, is it a breeze to play with, but you can use it as a control surface to control many other apps. If you don't have an external external keyboard or you don't like using the keyboard here, it's there's so many uses for it. And these sounds are wicked. What do you guys think? I think so. I think it's another fantastic job. They keep knocking it out the park. It it just keeps on being amazing and uh, again i think uh we we we're so blessed to have so many wonderful apps here on ios that uh we forget about these things you know i i i go to like add a new instrument to a project i'm working on and there's just so many things that you forget there's something like geoshred just sitting there begging to be played which yeah we we are very lucky. We live in amazing times to be able to create music. All right. Thomas Christ is up next with You Rock because he rocks and he's going to be playing your music like he does every week. Uh, so I'm going to go out today by playing an amazing artist, featured artist who's uh, I've did a show featuring her album. Um, I'm hoping one day she'll come on the show for an interview. Uh, this is Vero and a brand new track called Chemical Bliss. There's a pinned link up the top. I'll be back tomorrow, guys, uh, with the amazing GK Mac. You're not going to want to miss it. He's amazing. He's the master of utter jackassery, and we should have a blast with him. So that's happening tomorrow. But let's go out now with Vero and the brand new track Chemical Bliss. Do what makes you happy. Mistakes make you better. And we'll all rise together. And be kind to each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Boom. It's
Cause you make me shine better 